YouTubers. Hey, today we're going to go ahead and see if we can't repair uh, this display here. And uh, if you have one of those that's where it's dim or some of the functions don't work or things aren't just working right, now I'm going to show you how to repair some of the most common problems with this. So the first step is to go ahead and gut the console out. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, to get this down, you have a couple of tabs right here on the inside. I put my light in there so you can see. Mine are actually broken. Uh, but they still hold but most tabs have like a little square peg right there and what you do is you take a screwdriver and you push it in that hole and push that tab that way and then you grab this side of it here just right here is fine and you give a yank down and when you see it drop down then you know that this side's loose then you can come over here and do the same thing on this side over here uh let's see i don't know if i can focus in on that or not with the light hold on let me move the light over for you all right, here's the other side over here. Pretty much the same thing. You push in on that and you pull down here. And uh, let me go ahead and get these loose. And now I'm going to pull it down and show you how to actually get the, the little display assembly out. All right, once you get the display assembly where it's loose right here, just go ahead and grab it and give it a yank. And those little tabs right there will come right off. See those right there? They just pull out. They're uh, they're designed to go in these holes here. Now all these screws right here are T10s, torque tip 10s. So you just basically uh, you pull those out. Well, first of all, you got to pull the connector out. And there's a little tab on here. Push up on the tab and you wiggle and you pull this out. Don't have a lot of room here. You can also pull it down and then pull it out. I've done it either way. So let me get the screws off since this side's being a booger here. All right, you can start with this screw right up here up front. Just pull it out. Make sure you put the screws someplace where you can find them, like maybe your little uh, little pocket area here if you have one, or stick it in your uh, shirt pocket. So let's get this one. Well, drop that one. Have to go find it. And let's see here. Let's get this one. I'm gonna use two hands for this. All right, I got the screw off. So now this is what I'm talking about. There's a, a there's a little tab right here. You have to push that tab in and pull it at the same time. I don't think I can do it while holding this. Let me see. There it goes. So now you've got this. Now on this right here, when you get it, I've actually repaired this already and I'm pulling this all apart just for you guys. When you flip it over, in order to get into here, uh, you're actually going to have a piece of foam over this that prevents you from pulling this board off of here. What you do is you pull this foam off of here. And uh, I guess you could uh, basically draw an X from the corner right over here to up here. And then from this corner to this corner. And that's about where that screw is. You might also be able to press down on it and feel it with your finger. And remove that, thump, that uh, foam there. And then you can get to that T10. So let me get that out of there for you. All right, here we go. And stick that up in here with the rest of the stuff. Drop that down there. All right, now all you got to do is just lift it out. That's it. And then there's your uh, there's your display right there that you'll be working on. Uh, what you're going to be repairing is some resistors down in here. We down in here inside that get all messed up. So. Uh, the rest of the video, minus the reinstall, is going to be picture slides. And the reason for that is, is uh, I find pictures are just easier than showing videos when you have little details and stuff. That way people can stop and look at it and pause it, whatever they want to do. And the pictures come out clearer than the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I put a little soundtrack to it. Uh, if you like it, great. If not, whatever. <laughs> You're not here for the music. All right, we'll catch you later, and uh, let's get on to the repair.
Okay, after you get your module repaired, you're going to want to put it back in your vehicle, which means you're going to have to put this back in. Don't forget to remove this screw and then slip that down and then put the screw back in. The screw is a uh, Torque Tips 10, by the way, a T10. So let's go ahead and get the board in there. And then you put the screw in the hole and tighten it down. Okay, I got it in. It's snugged up. I'm just using an extension here. You can use whatever T10 you want, but that's just what I got, and it's it's handy. So let's go ahead and put this back up. Now, there are three screws that you need to uh, do to mount it up in the top, right up in there. There's a bumper right here that helps keep it from rattling. Why they need it to rattle when it's screwed down, I don't know, but it's there. There's a screw here, and then there's two screws right here. For you to put in so let's go ahead and let's get that up in there and uh get it screwed in okay i got one in now i'm finishing up the third one or the <laughs> sorry the second one all right let's get the last one in there we go all right it's mounted now all i have to do is push this in out and there's a little tab right here let's see if i can get the get the light to shine on it properly there we go. There's just a little push tab right here. You just got to make sure it locks in. You should hear it click when you put it in there. Okay. Oh, and the tabs, these little ridges mount downwards. So, let's go. There, clicked in. So, let's go ahead and get the cover up. And to get the cover up, you just push it back up in there. You can see where the little tabs are right here that go on it. And then these are the little lock spots. Now, mine... And yours probably has little square tabs right here. I broke them off not knowing how to get this out. So that's one of the reasons I'm making the videos here so you guys know. So you just slide it up in there and tack it on. Let me see if I can do this one-handed for you guys. Make sure the little uh, tabs go in the holes there. Right there. And then this. You might have to uh, work the ends around here a little bit. <laughs> It just slides up like that. Bing. That's it. So let's turn on the vehicle and see what it looks like. All right. Here we go. Now that flicker is the uh, scan rate for that, so don't worry about that. Uh, but it looks like, uh, looks like everything's fine. Okay. There we go. All right, that pretty much concludes it. I appreciate you guys watching. Please feel free to comment, ask questions. And again, don't forget, if you have any uh, curiosities about the parts I use, they should be in the descriptions below. So y'all have a good one. God bless you. And we'll talk with you later. Bye.